Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy, and welcome to the Beginner Beekeeping Series. In this episode, we're going to do the day nine check on the hive to see if the queen has been laying and to make sure that everything is going just fine in our newly installed package. Now let's get started. Okay, so here we are at our hive. It's day 10 or nine, depending on how we're counting. And we're gonna open the hive up and see how the bees are doing. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you that just looking at the front of the hive, we can tell that the queen has probably been released. Well, we know that from day four, but she's probably laying nicely because the bees are bringing in pollen. And they rarely bring in that much pollen if the bees and the queen is not laying. So that's our first indication that things are good. And hopefully when we look inside, we will see the signs and we're gonna do a full inspection. It's time we can do that. They've accepted their queen, they're rolling, they're bringing in food. We have syrup on there, there's dandelions blooming. So now we can actually get inside there and see what's going on. Okay, so we have our smoker. We're gonna give the bee some smoke because we got our tripod set up right in front of the hive. And I was standing there getting everything set up so they're, they're not gonna be as happy. And that uh, tripod is confusing them right now. And there are so many bees coming in. And we're gonna take the top of the hive and the top box off so that we can uh, do a full inspection. And we've had so much rain that this box is actually on here really tight because of it swelled up. So I'm just gonna take the whole thing off because there's nothing in there. It's just protecting the syrup cans. Just pull this off. You can see our old queen cage. Check our syrup cans. That one's still got some. That one's still got some. Our cluster is fairly small. It's only, and it's only about three seams of bees, maybe two and a half. And the reason is, is because all the bees are out in the field bringing in pollen. Shake those guys off. Shake these guys off. We're going to put those back in just a few minutes so it's not a big deal. Give them just a little smoke. They seem pretty calm now that I'm out of the way and they could figure out how to get around my tripod. So typically when you have a full hive of frames, you wanna take this first one out and work from the side so that you don't pull out one of these middle frames and roll your queen or killer or herder, or also anger the bees. Since we don't have anything, it was very easy for me to pull that out and now I'm just gonna move these frames over until I get to the frames that actually have bees on them. And we're going to look to see what each frame is doing. Here, they're building comb on that frame. So it looks like they're actually working on four frames. And so this is part of the problem with new packages and new frames. It takes them a long time and a lot of resources to build this out. And so here is this side. And they're building that out. They've got a small cluster there. And if you can see, it's kind of hard to see because this is the frame, but they start the wax starts right there, kind of right in that area. And then on this side, we got a little more. You got some uh, great comb being built. 
The comb in the center looks to be already up to the right level. They've already figured it out. And now they're bringing in lots of pollen. And they are working on the cells. I don't see the queen on this frame. So they probably laid a small patch of brood. I guess it would be eggs and larvae at this point. And so since it's day nine or 10, this is when we want to, uh, nine or 10 after we installed them, we, we want to treat this hive before they cap the brood. Because that is when you can trap mites inside here. And so they don't have anything capped yet. They're just now building this up and bringing in the pollen. And the queen is laying the eggs. And this one isn't as built up, even though they're working more, but you can see how yellow the wax is because all that's coming in right now is dandelion. And so they've got dandelion pollen all over themselves. And here's the queen. This frame right here. So you can see her, she's right in the center. She's right there, see? She's working around, there you go, you can see her now, they've kind of, uh... so she's actively laying, she's looking for places to lay eggs, and she is laying as we speak. She's looking for a place, and then she's going to stick her butt down in the cell and lay an egg. And that's what you want to see. So everything is going good, they're building up. And this has been a fantastic uh, inspection. Um, there's a few drones that came with the package. And you can see them. There's the queen. See, she's looking. She's looking. At this point, she's probably filled most of these up. She's laying as fast as they're making the comb to lay. And that's the disadvantage of not having comb, because she, once she starts laying, she wants to go 1,500 to 2,000 eggs per day at this time of year, but right now she's limited. You can see how the workers are all around her in a circle grooming her. But she's limited to how fast they can start this comb. But that's fantastic. Everything is going well. I'm going to blow on these bees. If you blow on the bees with your breath, it's kind of like smoking them. See, they move out of the way. And so what they're doing there is storing um, pollen and nectar from the dandelions and the maple trees and other things that are blooming, um, the violets, because she's going to start laying in there and then they'll have food right next to where, uh, right next to where they need it so that she can... Uh, she can lay the eggs. So that's all we're going to do today for the day nine inspection or day 10, depending on how we're looking at it. So we want to push those frames back. And if you notice for frame orientation, I put the frames back the same way that I took them out. You don't want to take a frame and turn it around 180 degrees unless there's a specific reason for that. If you're manipulating or managing your bees in a certain way for that reason. But if you're just inspecting like I am and you just, you don't want to disturb them, you, uh, you want to put things back as close to the way as you found them as possible. Now, when you're manipulating things and doing management things, that's different. So we're going to give them a little bit of smoke and put their food back. And close it up. And so the next thing that we'll be doing later on today or tomorrow is um, 
treating this hive with oxalic acid for mites, and I will show you that process. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.